Hello and welcome everyone to Programming Fundamentals 106. Today's topic will be basic syntax. So let's get in. Okay, uh, let's start with the elements of code. And first of all, see this this little guy here. Well, he's the most important thing in a programming language. I mean, like seriously, you know, whenever you miss this, your whole code can go wrong like literally can go wrong for 2000 lines you'll be having 10,000 errors and when you find this this little guy hiding there you have to resolve this one okay moving on let's start with statements so a uh, statement is the smallest token like executable token of programming language it can be anything it can be a full sentence it can only be just this little guy a semicolon it can be a, a comparison value can be a variable that's all called a statement talking of variables we have different types of variable in each programming language but variables are the one that we assign value to our to our system for example if i want to add two numbers and then i'll assign the values separately to x and y and then join them that's my variable Third is iterations. Iterations are very important and almost every program like most of the programs use them for a repeated function. There are many many different uh, repeated functions. I want you to remember mainly these first is the for statement, the if statement and the while loop. Well these are the three most commonly used iterations that we should study about it. And furthermore, there is software development. That is like the whole combination of the project, the scripts that you make, the development, the documentation that we have talked about, and the way you implement it is known as software development. So syntax, yeah. Syntax is damn important. See, uh, syntax is you should know how to write a code in a specific language. So like the syntax for each and every language differs with its own like everyone is having a different different settings different syntax well more than that the logic is much more important so if you know syntax that is not much but if you know the logic how to solve a problem that perspective you can solve the problem in any coding language basic data types yes we can classify them on the basis of type so a uh, type can be what kind of data we want to put in for example i want to put a name i want to put una academy in it so it's called a string so i need to define a string data type i want to just put the first letter like the b of this basic i want to just put b in my specific value that's a character so i need to define a character type i want to put a number one or my phone number Okay, that's too long i want to put a number say 20 that's an integer a positive or a negative integer or including zero is known as integer data type for example if i want to put my uh, phone number so that would be a long number like compared to 10 digit number we cannot classify that into integer so we use long for that on the basis of size we can define more further for my phone number like if uh, if I'm having a small digit and I want to define it, I'll I'll use a small a small data type. But if I'm having a very large value to define it, I'll use the bigger one, the larger value size. Moving on. Basic idea. Yeah, so what should you know? You should know the basic syntax of each and every programming language for that. Like, you know, take take a book and that's that's how actually i started you know i used to just take a cheat sheet I, after i was having a basic idea of programming you take a cheat sheet you put it aside and start coding and you should know what you're coding like after all you should know what you are coding and what you have to do if you have that perspective how you're going to solve the code you know the logic you can definitely solve any problem with the basic syntax that's all for this lecture and thank you very much